Hey guys, I'm in Miami on the beach and I just thought I'd share a video. So this is the first video I'm going to share and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to convey some uh, useful information. And so I was just thinking like uh, yesterday I was recording uh, some tutorials for Forex Boat and I realized that we don't talk enough about the topic of strategy deterioration that strategies for forex trading, as you use them over time, as the market conditions change, they tend to deteriorate. And I was just building this really cool live example of how a strategy was deteriorating over time. And I found that like we just don't talk about it enough. So I just wanted to mention a couple of things about that. So you know how when you assess a strategy, you normally look at statistical parameters. And regardless of whether you're uh, using uh, forex robots or you're uh, trading manually, you can be looking at parameters like profit factor, expected payoff, maximal drawdown, recovery factor, things like that, right? So um, let's look at profit factor, for example. So my target profit factor when I uh, am thinking about launching a strategy is about 1.6. And basically anything over 1.0 for a profit factor is already considered a profitable strategy because you're making more profits or your ratio of profits, gross profit to gross loss is greater than one, right? And a lot of traders, traders will say that they'll launch a strategy with a profit factor of like 1.2 and that's really good enough for them. Why is that not good enough in my opinion? Well, why do I aim for 1.6? The reason for that is um, as strategies deteriorate over time, right? If you launch the strategy as one with 1.2, as the market condition change and as time goes on, the strategy will most likely deteriorate and it will get to like 1.0, then it'll get to 0 0.9, 0 0.8, and anything below 1.0, you're starting to lose money. So you don't have that buffer, you don't have that time to adjust your strategy, to realize that it's deteriorating and to fix it up. So that's why if you set a strategy at 1.6, then you have more of a buffer zone that by the time it gets to 1.2, by the time it gets to 1.0, you will be able to recognize that, or if you're monitoring your strategy, you will have enough time, hopefully you'll have enough time, or you'll have at least more time to recognize that it's deteriorating and to adjust um, the parameters of your strategy or to retest it, reassess it. And the same thing goes with uh, recovery factor. So with the recovery factor, I aim for, for at least 2.0 and hopefully even more so that again, we have that buffer before the strategy uh, deteriorates to an unacceptable level, you will have enough time, you should have enough time, or you should give yourself more time to understand that that is happening. So there's a quick note on strategy assessment and monitoring and how they can deteriorate. By the way, the recovery factor is not a statistical parameter covered in the standard MT4 uh, statistical parameters outputs. So if you want to learn more about that, check us out on forexboat.com. And I'll see you around here. Don't forget to like this page. Until next time, happy trading.